losses with 24 knockouts. He is ranked number two by the World Boxing Association of Light Heavyweight Division. He is ranked number two by the International Boxing Federation in the Super Middleweight Division. And is ranked number four by the World Boxing Council in the Light Heavyweight Division. From Winnipeg, Canada, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome aboard Donnie Golden Boy Lalonde. Lalonde. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the green trunks with the white trim. He tipped in at an even 170 pounds. This gentleman has 42 wins, 3 losses, 2 draws, with 26 knockouts. From Brooklyn, New York, ladies and gentlemen, here's Mustafa Hamsho. Hamsho. The Lalonde camp concerned about having a strong referee in there, one of the finest young referees in the business, Arthur Mercanti Jr., handles this fight. This is his biggest assignment, and we're going to find out a lot about Arthur as a referee because he will have to enforce the rules tonight, Sam. Joining us at ringside, the WBC Continental America's junior welterweight champion, James Buddy McGirt. Great to see you, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Sam. Great Pleasure fight to be over here. Vincent Relliford. And here we go. Scheduled for 12, Mustafa Hamsho in the green trunks, Donnie Lalonde in the gold. Hamsho has to try to get close and drop the shot right down around the belt line, trying to intimidate Lalonde right away. There's never been a question of Lalonde's power with the right hand. His biggest problem in recent years has been using that left. He's gotten more mobility in it the last couple of years. He's got a big scar in that left shoulder where he had a, an operation. There's that low left hand that we uh, talked about from Mustafa Hamshow. I mean, that had to be no secret that Mustafa would go downstairs once. Former middleweight contender Benny Briscoe out of Philadelphia. First minute of every fight would land a left hook right below the belt. Now, of course, Buddy McGurk, you don't know about any of that. <laughs> Milan carrying that left hand very low, but dominating with the right hand. Well, stop with that landing. Hand right hand. Hamsho is shaken up by a right and another right land. There's the power of Milan. Again, the straight right hand by Milan. Hamsho starting to brawl. Hamsho's eyes wide open after some of those shots by Lalonde. The only time Mustafa's ever been off his feet was in the rematch against marvelous Marvin Hagler in this very ring in October 1984. Lalonde showing the left, firing the right hand. Buddy, if you were in there, or you were Lalonde, what would you be doing? Brawling, trying to get him out of there right now? Or no, um, Mustafa is very tricky. I've boxed with him quite a few times. And uh, you have to keep boxing him. You, you can't fall into the trap. You think you have him hurt. And if you come inside, Mustafa, you use every trick in the book. So Lalonde right now is doing the, the safest thing by boxing. Lalonde got caught with a left hook to the neck from Hamsho. Hamsho just waved in and caught Lalonde with a left hook. Late in round one. And both men have showed their, sef, their stuff. Lon, that good right hand, have showed the brawling style. I first round, a lot of leather and, and some pretty good shots landed by both fighters. Well, Mustafa's trying to brawl. That's, brawl, that's his game. And uh, Lon's trying to keep him at distance a little bit with the left hand and, and hammer him with the right. You have to give the first round to Lon. He was a little more effective, landed the cleaner shots. Mustafa is having a little trouble with the reach and the height right now, and it's going to be a question over the long run, uh, I think, if Mustafa can work the body, stop trying to go to the head as much, and maybe lower those hands and uh, fatigue Lalonde. Mm -hmm. 
Otherwise, I think Lalonde, with his reach and his height, is going to keep him at bay a little bit. Lalonde seems to throw a lot of long punches, leaves himself pretty wide open. Do you see that as a weakness of, of Donnie? Yeah, well, he's not very defensive. He's, mm -hmm. he's offensive-minded, except for when he's on, you know, he's on his bicycle, he's moving a little bit. Mm -hmm. He, uh, I've seen him fight a couple of times. Uh, Willie Edwards in a couple of other fights that didn't go as long. He tends to tire a little bit from all that running with a real okay. aggressive fighter. So that'll be a good question later on. Round two coming up right now. I'm Show and Lalonde back from Madison Square Gardens. See the end swell being used to the side of the eyes of Donnie Lalonde. There's been no signs of swelling. Well, just in, case, in the fight. Sam, just in case there is a cut, manager Dave Wolfhard, one of the best cut men in the business, came from Blackwood, New Jersey for this fight. Ralph closed the cut, Citro. Tommy Gallagher, Donnie Lalonde's trainer, told him between rounds, just stick to the basics, jab right hand, and slow down, pace yourself. Donnie Lalonde was very concerned about looking good in this fight. The lunging ham show throws Lalonde to the ropes. That's something that Lalonde will have to deal with, buddy, right? Yes, definitely, because Mustafa used every trick in the book on the inside. So, yeah, Lalonde has to use his reach to stay on the outside. If he gets inside, he's going to lose the fight, definitely. Fighting a guy like Mustafa Hamso could definitely make you lose your composure. Oh, definitely. He's very awkward southpaw. He's hard to hit, and he does a lot of tricky moves. The longer the fight goes, the better chance Mustafa has. But uh, the best thing for Alonzo, like you said earlier, is to keep his distance and stay outside and use the basics like his corner told. There's that left hand. I believe it's straight quite low by Mustafa. And you see Arthur Bercanti moving in quickly. Making sure there's not too much rough stuff going on on the inside in those clinches. Most of that left taken on the glove by Milan. The left hand of Don Milan is an improving left hand. It's far from being a world-class left hand, but that right hand of his can get anybody out of there with one good crisp shot. In looking at the tapes of Mustafa Hamshaw in that fight against Bobby Chess five years ago, and then that fight against Richard Burton, Hamshaw was really solid. Here it looks a little soft in the middle. That extra weight showing. There has never been a question about the heart and determination of Hamshaw. Well, he, has, he has more heart and determination than any fight I've ever seen. You know, I've boxed with him, and, and uh, I've seen him fight plenty of times, and he just shows that he has that courage that you have to kill him in order to win. 35 years old, Mustafa Hamshow. His manager, Al Cerdo, says he doesn't need this. The guy's got all the money in the world, but he just wants to fight. He loves to fight. He loves to challenge. Glancing right hook off the chin of Milan. You know, so much has been made over the years of Mustafa Hamshow being cut and being a bleeder, but you have to go back to that Hagler fight in 1984, and he actually got knocked out in that fight. So you've got to go back quite a number of years before he was cut. And the first Hagler fight was in 1981. Time winding down in round two. Milan trying to uh, finish strong. for 12 for the WBC Continental America's Light Heavyweight Championship. Donnie Lalonde in the gold. Mustafa Hamsho in the green. Sam Rosen, Randy Gordon, and Buddy McGurk here at ringside. Glad you could join us for fight night at the Felt Forum. The winner of this expecting to get a shot at the Light Heavyweight Championship. One of the best performances in the career of Mustafa Hamsho came in July of 1983 when he pounded out an easy 12-round decision over Wilfred Benitez. And Benitez then was only 24 years old. Lunging left hook and Hamsho follows up and then puts the bear hug on Milan. But Sam and Buddy might remember that Benitez fight. That was only a few months after the death of the beloved manager of Mustafa Hamsho, Patty right. Flood. And he said he was actually feeling the, the presence of Patty in the ring that night. Oh, I boxed with Mustafa before that fight. I went to camp with him. I'm sure you didn't want to be there. And one morning we were running, and he ran 13 miles. I don't know how he did it. The last six miles he picked it up, I got in the car and rode it out. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't even realize he was running. He was fighting with tremendous emotion. When I, when I came home before the fight, 
a lot of people told me Benitez was going to beat him, but I said, he's, he, no way, he's in tremendous shape. And they said, well, uh, you're lighter than Mustafa, that's why he seems so strong. But he showed in the fight how we just manhandled Benitez. Milan not doing much with that jab at all. It's been short. He's pawed with it and has not been effective with it. He's starting to let Mustafa take control now. I thought Mustafa had a real fine second round. And he's not doing too bad here in the third. A lot of feeling around the Lalonde camp was that he would need a knockout to win. Look at Hampshire. Hampshire chased Lalonde back and pulled straight back. And then as he's pulling back, I hit with a shot. There you see a, a shoulder block by the very strong Hampshire. You saw Mer Arthur Mercanti, the referee, step in right away when Hampshire threw an elbow. And he yelled, keep it clean. Milan landed a right hand. I don't see the fight going to 12 rounds this way. Time winding down in round three. Good left hand by Hamcho. Show, as Randy Gordon pointed out, seemed to be coming on in the third round. Uh, your impression of the fight so far? Well, he's moving a lot better than he was in the first round. He's applying mm -hmm. a little more pressure, and Lalonde, like I said, uh, with a reputation of tiring, has slowed the pace a little bit. It's, I have a two rounds to one for Lalonde, but Mustafa's making nicer moves coming in. He's looking a little stronger, but uh, we got a long fight ahead of us, 12 mm -hmm. rounds. Still any man's fight. Arthur McConty Jr., the, the referee, how important is, is a referee in a situation? The way Hamshow fights, it's very kind of a brawling. Sometimes people call it dirty. How important is, is a referee? Well, Mustafa does what he has to to win, and sometimes those tactics border on filth, never mind dirt. <laughs> He's, uh, he'll pull all the stops out if he can get mm -hmm. away with it. And if you have a, an official or referee that's going to let him get away with that, it's going to uh, force you to do the same and mm -hmm. make a different and not such a nice fight. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna need a good referee to keep everything clean. Do what you gotta do. Round four coming up from the felt forum. <laughs> Round four, scheduled for 12. Donnie Lalonde and Mustafa Hamshow. How have you scored it so far, Randy? Scoring on the 10-point must system, that's part of the rules of the Continental Americas in their title fight, scoring on a 10-point must system. I've given the first round to Don Lod 10-9, the next two to Hamcho 10-9. Now we're in agreement on this one so far. Give it time. Hamcho is just starting to get very physical now. Near the end of the round, starting to muscle along the round. The worst thing the Lon can do is go in a straight line backwards. That, that, that gives Mustafa's momentum. So he has to move side to side on Mustafa. The Lon got hit with a left hand. It was half a punch and half a push. And he bounced off the ropes. But one thing, Hanshaw is definitely establishing superiority in the ring. But what he's trying to do is intimidate Don Lalon. I think he's trying to find out exactly what kind of man he is, what kind of heart he has. Exactly. But the, if he keeps moving straight, he's going right in Mustafa's range because Mustafa wins his punches. And he's going straight back, so he's going right into him. It's early in the fight, and Mustafa feels if he can intimidate Don Lalon, take his heart away, the fight is his. Mustafa has a way also of wearing you out. You can box three rounds with him in the gym and be dead tired. Hamshaw got in a right hand. When you watch Lalon, there's very little on that left hand. He must land that right hand to be effective and to have any chance of winning. That left hand doesn't do much. Turner Tommy Gallagher will tell you, and Don Lalon will tell you, so will manager Dave Wolf, that the left hand is getting better, but it still has a long way to go. This fight kind of reminded me of the Richard Burton fight, where Burton was starting strong, and then all of a sudden he started wearing out because the stuff was staying inside with him. Hampshire finished Burton with that straight left hand that put him right down the corner. Keeping in mind, buddy, that you're a 140-pounder, but considered to be a very strong 140-pounder. You boxed with Hampshire when he was a middleweight. You boxed recently with him. Is he that strong? Definitely, without a doubt. Him and Matthew Hilton are the two strongest men I ever boxed with in my life. I have to say that. Because not that because he's a, a stable mate of mine, but it is that anybody can tell you when you box with Mustafa, you gotta be in good shape. Alon 
throwing punches, but Hampshire showing a lot of movement. For a guy who's 35 years old, he's showing some good moves in there. Hampshire in at 170 pounds. Late in round four. Round five. Mustafa Hamsho in the green has fought very well. Donnie Lalonde starts out aggressively here in the fifth round. I've given the last three to Hamsho. How about you, Randy? Same thing. I've got Hamsho up on the 10 point scoring system 39 37. I'm sure he's well aware that this fight is scheduled for 12 rounds. And if he goes moving, he's going to burn up a lot of energy against this very strong and sometimes crude street brawl in Mustafa Hamsho. Lalan, the former light heavyweight champion of Canada. As you heard uh, earlier, say he wants to become the first Canadian in more than 50 years to become a world champion. I'm sure at this point, Don Lala does not have his mind on Bobby Chess. He's trying to figure out how he's going to last his 12 rounds with his That's right. Well, one of the things he's got going in his favor is just tremendous condition. That was a slip. He ate a couple of shots when he was down. Typical to stop. And now, what is the stop about that? Hamsho doesn't know to stop. He just knows to keep punching. I think George Foreman was the same way. He'd knock you down, and you better lay out on the canvas. Because if your head was in punching range, George would knock it off. When Mustafa says he's a fighter, he means it. Even in the gym, he's the same way in the gym. He's a tough man to fight. And Lalonde is finding that out. Right hand landed on Mustafa's left elbow. Well, Mustafa Hamsho claims Bobby Chez has uh, been avoiding him. Well, Bobby Chez promoters are here taking a close look. Hamsho beat Bobby Chez five years ago. Chez was an undefeated middleweight at the time. And earned Hamsho a second shot at the middleweight championship. Hamsho hoping a win tonight will earn him a shot at Chez's IBF light heavyweight title. Round five is history, Bobby, and uh, Hamsho seems to have the fight not totally in hand, but certainly Lalonde, you mentioned when we were watching it, his heart sometimes in question as far as what kind of guts this guy has. Well, you know, like I said, he's got a little bit of a reputation to tire somewhat, and mm -hmm. what I'm looking at here is I see that uh, Mustafa's taking a little more control. Mm -hmm. um, as the fight progresses, if this keeps up, he'll either lose a decision or get stopped in late rounds, and you've know, you got to have a lot of heart to fight a Mustafa Hampshire. Mm -hmm. A fighter like that is going to keep coming no right. matter what. The art of body punching is a lost art, it appears, in this fight. You mentioned that if Lalonde would look a little more uh, to go to the body, he might have a little more, uh, so much, uh, just a little more um, uh, success as far as this fight goes. Well, Mustafa's looking for him to head hunt because he's the taller of the two, and I think that uh, not only the fact that Mustafa's a little bit of an older mm -hmm. fighter, but uh, body punches take the starch out of a fighter later in the rounds, no matter how old he is. All right. Round six coming up. Back to the Phil Forum. Right now, Hamsho piling up some points, though. I've got it 49-46. Same thing. If you watch it on the inside, in the clinch, you see Mustafa giving Lalande the elbows and the shoulders and everything. What does that do to a fighter? It wears you out. You know, and, uh, Jordan tried to, uh, like you say, see what kind of man Lalande really is. Well, he just found out what kind of right hand Lalande has. Right. He ate a tremendous right hand. That straight right hand was a beauty. I felt it. 
And Lalonde started to open up. Now Hampshire trying to crowd him a little bit. Well, Tommy Gallagher certainly came out with his own punches, his verbal punches between rounds. I think it could have woken Lalonde up. This is our main event on fight night at the Felt Forum. Don Lalonde and Mustafa Hamshaw for the WBC Continental Americas. Lightweight contender James Buddy McGirt. Sitting alongside, he's the WBC Continental Americas Junior Welterweight Champion, having beaten Vincent Rutherford. And a caution to Hamshaw. I think Hamshaw, who looked to be the man who was doing the butting there, I think... I thought I might have seen some blood there coming around the scalp area, but it looked to be a, a hair with a light shining on it. Heads are... And now Arthur McCandy is taking charge here. He's telling both fighters, watch the head, cut out the rough stuff on the inside, and box. This is exactly what I wanted to see out of Arthur, because we've been talking about him as being one of the top young refs in the world. And he is taking charge. Good right hand by Lalonde. Lalonde trying to take charge in this round. Hamshaw still going after the heart of Lalonde. Still certain he can drain him apart by roughing him up, but Lalonde isn't going to take it. When he gets headbutted, he comes right back with his own headbutt. Well, that's, he shouldn't uh, fight to Mustafa's fight. That's what Mustafa's trying to get him to do. Draw him into an uh, inside warfare, and that's what Lalonde's falling into. He can't do that. Mustafa got in a looping right hand. Solid punches by Hampshaw. Lalonde took him, more, took him very well. You know, it was back in November of 82 when Bobby Chez lost a 10-round decision to Mustafa. I was sitting that, next to that day, Tony Ayala. Outstanding fighter in the ring, had a lot of problems outside the ring. But he was a fighter cut out of the mold of Hampshaw. And he said to me, Chez is being intimidated by this guy. If I was in there, I'd put him right back. Cool. Sometimes you have to do that with a dirty fighter. You've got to let him see that he cannot get away with those kind of moves. Final seconds of the sixth round. What do you do with a guy like that? Do you just fight dirty back? You mentioned a little earlier, but he seems to be uh, intimidating Alon, not only with his punching, but his, his tactics right now. And, and the young Alon seems to be getting frustrated. Well, he's real strong, Mustafa, mm -hmm. physically. He's not a real big puncher, but he's real strong. So he can move you around a little bit on the inside, and he uses his head and his elbows. Mm -hmm. He'll try and lace you with the inside gloves. That's a Mustafa Hampshire fight. Uh, myself, I wasn't intimidated by Mustafa mm -hmm. Hampshire's tactics, and I had a number of times did do some things back. It was just a matter of lack of strength due to the mm -hmm. weight loss for that fight. But I get a last round to Lalonde, so as a comeback, I got it back to 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. Lalonde is not finishing as well as you would like to see. He gets, he gets one or two punches, and he doesn't go to the body. He's ahead hunting. He's head hunting, and you know, he can get him with two good, clean right hands. Mm -hmm. Mustafa stopped in his tracks slowed up, look to hold on. That's when you unload one or two of the body and see what starch that can take out. All right. System. Round seven underway at the Phelps Forum. We'll be back. Well, I think Mustafa's got a little lead on us, though. 27 years old, Donnie Lalonde in the gold. 28 and 2. His last loss was to Willie Edwards in 1985. He was knocked down three times in that fight. Actually, they called four knockdowns. One looked to be a slip. Those were the only times in his career Lalonde has ever been off his feet. Early in his career, he lost a six-round decision. To Wilbur, the Vampire Johnson. Remember him? Certainly do. <laughs> Long right hand scores for Lalonde. A vampire, one of my favorites. Saw him on New Year's Eve come out of a coffin. That's right. When Mustafa Hamsho came over to this country in the mid-70s, and he started boxing, Paddy Flood was trying to find a name for him. He didn't like Mustafa Hamsho. So he said, let's call you Mike Escafire. And from there, it became Rocky Escafire. And from there, it became Rocky Hamsho. And finally, Paddy said, heck with this. I can't find the name. Let's go with Mustafa Hamsho. It sounds like made up anyway. The right hand on the top of the head of Hamsho. Shook him a little bit. Again, Lalonde throwing that right. He's going to break his head if you put him on top of the head. <laughs> See, now it's Lalonde who's getting physical. I 
agree with what Tony Ayala told me five years ago. When you've got a guy in front of you who's getting so physical, and you never know when he's going to hit you with next, right. do it right back to him. Definitely. Otherwise, he'll take your heart right away from it. Well, has paced himself well, and he seemingly has come on in the sixth and seventh rounds. Well, to Bobby Chess's credit back then, Bobby broke his, I believe it was his right hand early in the fight. With Hampshire. So he did what he could in dropping that decision to Hampshire. But Bobby would love another crack at Hampshire. And uh, Hampshire the feeling is mutual. Oh, yeah. Whenever Bobby fights, Mustafa's sitting ringside. He's right there. Hampshire got in the left after he took a couple and got in a straight right hand. Late in round seven. There have been no knockdowns. And thankfully, there have been no cuts. Holland at his best we can, when he can throw that straight right hand. There he got in the right hand. As time winds down in the seventh round. And indeed, it's, it's, it's not the nicest thing you want to see. You, you broke two bones in your hand? Well, actually, what it is are dislodged. The first mm -hmm. two metacarpals, the row of joints here, they came mm -hmm. out of the socket and were, you know, they had uh, done some ligament tendon damage. And technically, it's worse than a break. You mm -hmm. have uh, these two here are supposed to be mobile, and they were actually jolted out. Mm -hmm. And the injury started some years ago, but I, I had Mustafa dead in the forehead, and they finished. They mm -hmm. popped out. And it's quite a deal of pain to have to uh, fight with. And, uh, you know, I had to get surgery, re do the whole thing, rebuild the mm -hmm. hammer bone from my hip. You know, they didn't know his hand going to be good. Can he still fight? But uh, so far, the hammer works. It, it's working good. Real quick, uh, Lalonde, age 27, Hamshu, 35. Does, does age take, tell any tale here? Well, it's got to tell a tale later in the fight that mm -hmm. you're going to see that Hamshu is going to slow a little more, and the body's got to be less, uh, you know, available to him okay. for strength. He's going to be lower and lower uh, in uh, reserve. Okay. Round eight coming up from the Feld Forum. There's round eight, scheduled for 12. Don Lalonde in the gold trunks. Hamshow lower that left hand. Mustafa Hamshow in the green. A very close fight. I've got a 67-66 for Hamshow. Exactly as I scored it. I've given the last two rounds to Don Milan, who got a tongue lashing after round number five from Tommy Gallagher, and he had fought with some fire the last two rounds. I think he's uh, picking up the pace now, you know, hoping Mustafa ties. But he's starting to find his range with Lon. I see that. Especially with the right hand. Milan throws very few body punches. The right hand to the head is what he looks for. He's trying a very good fight now, Lalan. I gotta give him credit. He's really changed his tactics a whole lot better now. Well, Mustafa wanted to find out what kind of man Lalan was. I think he found out. And now Mustafa knows he's got to really start getting close and mixing it up. And Lalan is giving Hamsho a little movement, a little side to side, a little circling, just enough to throw Hamsho off a little bit. He looks in good shape around there, too. He doesn't seem tired. It's like he's got his second win and everything. Would you say I expect him to stop it and just manhandle him for like five or six rounds? I think he tried to, and Donnie hung in there pretty well. That straight right keeps popping on the head of Mustafa Hamsho. Well, in our keys to the fight. One key, I think, which will be very, very important is stamina. We gave that to Lalan. And I think you see right now the pressure of the two, even if just by a little bit, looks to be Lalan. Definitely. So his punches and bunches, man, turn them together more. And he's looked, I've never really seen Lalan fight that much. So I guess by working with Mustafa and not seeing Lalan, I just picked him as a big favorite. Notice how when Mustafa comes in, he's coming in many times, elbow first. Mustafa not throwing the punches the way he was earlier. And even on the inside, Lalonde is hitting him and landing well. That time, Lalonde may have been a little low with that right hand. A taste of Hamsho's own medicine. And a little headlock. Lalonde has got a few moves in there, too. Lalonde 
Bond has been trained well. There's no doubt about that. He's got his second cap on now. Final seconds of the eighth round. This is scheduled for 12. New York Rangers goaltender John Van Beesbrook ringside to watch this battle between Don Lalonde and Mustafa Hamsho for the WBC Continental Americas Light Heavyweight Championship. The winner expecting to get a shot for the world title. And right now I've got it all even, Randy. So do I. Four rounds apiece, we're scoring on the 10-point must system. 76, 76. This becomes a four-round fight. And Lalonde has come on the last three rounds, buddy. Yes, definitely, most definitely. He changed his tactics, and uh, he found a whole lot smarter fight, and he surprised me. An incredible statistic. In the distances fought in rounds between 6 and 10, Lalonde has been that distance 11 times. Low left hand, and that hurt Lalonde. You can see him yeah. walking away, and a warning from referee Arthur Riccati. Lalonde Mustafa is going through his old dirty book now. Okay. Well, when you run out of tricks, I mean, Lalonde is... Lalonde is talking to him. He's talking to Mustafa on the inside. You better be careful about talking, because while you're talking, Mustafa will punch you right in the mouth. <laughs> Between six and ten rounds, Lalonde 11 times, 26 times over that distance for Hamsho. Hamsho is coming in with shoulders first, elbows first, and that low left hand. He's trying everything now. He's done everything in the world to win. That was a nice body shot. Left hand by Mustafa Hamsho. Lalonde doing some work on the inside, which he wasn't doing earlier. Again, half show low with a left hand. Question is, will referee Arthur Mercanti penalize half show? I'm not sure Arthur saw that one. If he did, I'd, I'm pretty sure he would have jumped in with a warning. Half show getting caught on the way in. The line trying to fight him off and does. Half show mugging to the line. He wants Lalonde to come in and brawl, and then exactly. he just landed a hard right hand to the head of Lalonde. I think if Lalonde wants to oblige him, sure, let's brawl. Oh, the head banged together hard. Wow. Lalonde thinks that was an intentional butt. There is a way to do it. George Shavala once was trying to show me how to headbutt. George, the old heavyweight contender out of Canada, he said a real smart fighter. There's another headbutt. Tom wow. took the worst of that one. He's looking to see if there's yeah. blood around his left eye. And there's, there's, there's blood, blood over Lalonde's right eye. Well, he's got one of the best cut men in the business in his corner. Ralph throws the cut citrus. And he's getting ready right now. There is blood over the right eye of Donnie Lalonde late in round nine. And that's from a headbutt. As those heads bang together violently at least three times in that round. A tremendous ninth round. And... Uh, Hamsha stuck his chin out there, Bobby. What, what do you do in a situation like that? I try to take it off, you know. <laughs> it's uh, one of those things, the guy sticks it out there. You know, anything he gives me, I'll take it. If he doesn't, I'll make mm -hmm. it. And uh, we can hit a guy with your best stuff. Uh, Jim McDonald did the same to me. I hit him, and he went like this and stuck his head out, and mm -hmm. I hit him again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a whole lot easier to hit a man with his hands down than when they're up. You see, they're, they're working on Lalonde's eye there. Uh, what kind of, uh, three more rounds to go. How, how, how much does the corner man play right now as far as Lalonde's existence in this fight? Well, I don't think the cut is bad enough that it's going to have uh, any effect in this particular fight. Lalonde should just disregard it, mm -hmm. go about his business. He's won like the last four rounds or so. Right. I got him ahead by a little bit in this, at this juncture of the fight, and I think that he's coming along. He's the stronger of the two. But uh, when he gets a man hurt, he's got to work the body a little bit and then take it back up, stop, up top right. to the head. Round 10, coming your way from the felt forum. To the scorecard. And who is, whoever is leading at the time will win the fight. Right now, I've got Lalonde ahead by a single point, Randy. That means you gave him that last round? That's right. It on. In the last four rounds. We're in round 10, scheduled for 12. The cut is on the eyelid of Donnie Lalonde. There's a lot of Vaseline coming down. Right now, the cut is not bleeding. If you're scoring at home, we'll try to find out for you, but I saw referee Arthur Mercanti talking to the officials. He may have taken a point away, probably from Hansha. What a rough fight this is. And just as we expected, Hansha doing everything. He draws the booze from the crowd. 
He's not a pleasing fighter to watch. He's a rough, tough fighter, street brawler, who will do anything to win. And last rounds of Tom Show fights are very interesting. I remember one back in June of 1980 when he threw Wilfred Scipion through the ropes and onto the press table. He bounced onto the floor. He was then able to continue. Zach, I've seen that fight. I've first seen Mustafa Hans on television. Alon able to work out of the clinch and throw punches. That's when they call him the Syrian buzzsaw. That's right. Milan making a mistake by hanging on the inside, but he's getting very frustrated. That frustration is setting in. He should just get back, use the jab, and try to drop the right hand straight exactly. down the middle. He moved well there. I think he's got to do more. There's the heads banging together again. And you can see frustration on the face of Don Milan. Milan just a moment ago looked at Tom Show, and he said he, he kind of muttered to himself, "Damn you." Because he knows whenever he gets close to Hopshaw or whenever Hopshaw gets close to him, he eats more than the leather glove. He eats shoulders, elbows, forearms, and a forehead. About a minute to go in this 10th round, scheduled for 12. For the WBC Continental America's Light Heavyweight Championships. And likely for a shot at the world Light Heavyweight title. Big left by Hamsho caught the side of the face of Don Milan. It was more of a lunging shot by Hamsho. It was a good punch, but it didn't really have that much steam on it. That right hook had a lot more steam. And Milan uses his left elbow. And a low left hand from Hamsho. And here's Arthur McCanty stopping and stepping in and telling Hamsho again another one. One of them from Hamshow. Well, many fighters don't have any sex before a fight for weeks. I think it's going to be a long time for Lalonde <laughs> after this fight. <laughs> now, the word is that uh, the point was taken away from Hamshow in the ninth round. So if you scored it originally a 10-9 round, take another point away from Hamshow. More rough stuff here. How many low shots? Lalonde is down on one knee. some time. Milan shaking up. Has pushed the mouthpiece out, breathing heavily. I think in Arthur McCanty's mind, he wants to let this go, let him fight, but I think he has to be considering the possibility of disqualifying Hamshow. You have to look at it. So many low blows have been thrown. The heads have cracked together. I think you're going to see some hard punches thrown by Milan now. He is but I don't know what he's got left. Those low shots, you know, I make a little joke about it, but believe me, they take a lot out of you. Oh, yeah. There's been more than one. There's been several, maybe three or four real hard low shots. Body rings, shakes, quivers. Well, we'll let that in. Buddy, tell me, what's the, what does a low blow feel like? I mean, what is, uh, it, uh, it hurts a lot, believe me. It takes a lot out of you. But the way um, Lalonde is getting hit, I'm surprised you don't go 12 rounds. I've got it scored 96-93 right now for Lalonde. How about you? 96-94 Mike Carr, but then there was that one point taken away, so same thing, 96-93 Lalonde. Then again, it depends really on how you get a hit, really. Sometimes you can get a hit and don't feel it that much. Oh, the oh, head. head came up on the chin of John Lalonde. And David Wolf in the corner. happened in the light heavyweight title fight between Eddie Mustafa Muhammad and Victor Galindez in about 1976. Victor kept nailing him low. Finally, Eddie had enough and gave him right back. He lost the round because of it. Arthur Mercanti is the referee. is getting tremendous experience with a right hand. Rock Hamshow, and he's trying to hold on. The line. The heads came together again, and the line put a right hand below the belt. One of the guys who was working the corner of Lalonde, former light heavyweight contender Bobby Cassidy, 
knows a little bit about some rough stuff. Great job by Ralph Citro on the cut over the right eye of Milan. Milan answering Hancho back, landing three right hands, another right hand at the end of the 11th round. They better get a tour guide to get Hancho back to his right corner. Uh, Milan, the low blows uh, seem to make him pretty upset, it looked like. Well, you know, I don't, I don't believe that he was as hurt as he claimed to be right there. You know, mm -hmm. some, sometimes fighters will fake it a little bit. They get the sympathy of the judges or the, right. the close fight or the crowd. And uh, also, he can take a little rest, plan what he's going to do. And now he took that and he turned it around. And so far, it looks like he's got the fight if he doesn't get stopped. He's under control. I think they're going to roll a replay into the low blows. Uh, just the seriousness of those. When you've gotten hit like that, what, obviously it's a nauseous feeling, but what, what do you do? do well, you... there are times that they don't hurt too bad. Mm -hmm. if, if, you know, if they catch you just right so they didn't hurt you, but if they catch you just right so it did hurt you, it can be mm -hmm. uh, extremely painful. And two or three of them in a row will, will take some steam at you. It's worse than a good solid body mm -hmm. shot because it's such a you know, tender area. Here's the, here's the low blow, which is coming up right here. Um, right there, there again. That's about the yeah. fourth one. Let's go to round 12 right now. Danny Lalonde well ahead on all the cards. McCandy, the referee, is trying to keep control of this fight. It hasn't been, been easy. We've now learned from uh, the judges that two points have been taken away from Hampshire in this fight. He's down two points because of the warnings for low blows and headbutting. And the right hand of Lalonde coming from all angles. I've given Donnie Lalonde every round since the fifth. Lalonde is going for the knock on that, looks like, huh? What do you think, Randy? I think Lalon is going to listen to Tommy Gallagher. Tommy told him to just fight, get out there and fight like a man. <laughs> I don't think John is going to be happy just dancing around the ring and maybe winning it on points. He wants to stop Hansel, wants to make him hurt, wants to punish him this round. What a test for Donnie Lalon. Mustafa Hamsho in the twilight of a lengthy career. And what a career it's been. Straight right hand sent Hamsho back on his heels, and he was hanging on. Lalonde exults in anticipated victory. Lalonde cocking that right hand, no question what he wants to do. He threw a right hand, looked a little bit low. We're coming to the midway point of this 12th and final round. There have been no knockdowns. Milan sneaks a peek at the clock. Well, with the amount of body shots and low shots that Milan has been hit, he's got to feel as if this is round number 25. I give Milan a lot of credit for this. He uh, fought a very good fight, and even though Mustafa hurt, used every trick in the book, he uh, still hung in there. Milan showing tremendous courage on his own. And Don Milan said that when Hamsho starts using all the rough tactics, it'll come down to how much he, Donnie Lalonde, wants it. And he's shown that he wants it badly. Again, the right hand rocks Hamsho. And it's Hamsho who goes sliding into the rope. Wrestle down, that's no knockdown. from Canada. Mustafa Hamsho from Syria. They meet up in New York City and bang away for the final second. Oh, the heads came together one more time. And this is it. The final bell. It's all over. That was a very good fight, Sam. We're going to have to give the line and stop for both credit. I thought uh, a tremendous war in there. Dirty, to say the least. A tough fight, a tough fight to officiate, a tough fight to fight in. But this man, Don Milan, I gave him every round from the fifth on. So did I, Sam. And this crowd at the Phil Forum, one of the biggest in years, really enjoyed what they saw tonight. My final scorecard says 116 to 110.
for Lalonde, including the two points taken away from Mustafa Hamcho. Without those points taken away, it would have been 116-112 on my card. What a brawl. Mustafa Hamcho, 35 years old, fighting professionally for 12 years, battling Don Lalonde. In that 12th round, Lalonde felt he had the fight won, but didn't run, didn't try to score some points, to try to knock Hamcho out. And there's a big right hand that snapped the head of Hamcho and almost had him down. Donnie Lalonde and Mustafa Hamcho await the final decision of the judges in this 12-round battle. We'll be right back with the decision in just a moment. Back in the score studios, it seems to be pretty cut. 12-round fight for the WBC Continental America's Light Heavyweight Championship and an unofficial elimination bout for a title shot. The fighters in the ring having congratulated one another and showing no animosity uh, toward each other despite all the rough stuff in the ring. The cards have been collected and now we await the announcement of the decision. Ed Darian checking it all over. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read off the scoring, let's hear it one more time for these two young men. And the scoring by points as follows. Judge Victor Suarez observed the fight at 116-110. Judge George DiGabriel, he scored it 118-108. And Judge Al Reed, he watched it at 117-110 for the winner by unanimous decision and the brand new World Boxing Council, Colorado America's light heavyweight champion, Tommy the Golden Boy Ron. Donnie Milan in the toughest fight of his